Well, hello everyone. It's Brad and Robert with the Clarity Clip of the Week again. And you know, I recently was reading up on some on some business stuff and found an article that I thought was really interesting. And inside of it, the guy said, "We have a meeting every week or on a biweekly basis where we discuss how to put ourselves out of business." And I thought that was very profound and very smart from That's a brilliant. standpoint of a, bu a business because. What better way, what, who better to figure out how to put themselves out of business than yourself? Oh, yeah. And the, and the benefits yeah. of ta having that discussion. And there are so many disruptive business models now. I mean, look, hey, phrase it, Amazon's trying to put everybody out of business everybody, yeah. every day. I mean, they're going into health care. I mean, yep. they're, everything. You better be doing that. Yeah, because I think from the, from the best standpoint is who should know your, your weaknesses the best? You should. You yes. better know your weaknesses, and you better be trying to boost those up mm -hmm. so they don't become a weakness. And then to have internal people talk about, hey, if I was out there, mm -hmm. here's what I would do and how yeah. I would target you, right? And, you know, we sat down once with a company in the gaming industry to help them. They'd been in the industry 35 years, and it had been a long time before they... Yeah before they'd ever thought about what is it we really do here. I mean, we had to pull that out of them. They hadn't thought about it, and they were losing market share. Yeah, and they just you, you just get in that humdrum of yeah. every day, day-to-day, -day, ROI. You heard mm -hmm. Sean Jackson talk about it uh, in, a, mm -hmm. in, a, in our videos previously where he talked about, mm -hmm. well, we get in the ROI and the sell, 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 sell money, 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 investor, investor, yeah. investor, investor, got to refund, got to refund, get more money, get more money, get more money, and we get in that, and we never stop to think about well, what are, what are our competitors doing and are they beating us and why are they beating us and how are they putting us out of business and how can we keep that from happening? The other thing they said in, in the article, which I thought was very unique, was is they broke it down. So how could I put myself out of business in one year? How can I do it in three years? How can I do it in five years? Because what that helped them do is, what this guy said was, it helped us understand our long-term long plans. Right, so short term, a disruptor, Amazon comes in the market, or somebody like that comes in the market into my category of business. They could put me out of business in a year if they did this. Mm -hmm. What if another company comes in that's kind of drilling and going and just slowly, steadily? They could do it in three years. Mm -hmm. Then the last guy could do it in five. So I think it's imperative that companies have that discussion um, and give us some of the reasons why you think that's imperative from a standpoint of digital space. Like, what are some of the things that people could do immediately from their press background that could really hamper growth of a company? Well, you know, first off, you could have a crisis and it's all over and it's you respond badly to the one, crisis in the one crisis. digital age. Uh, Ebola. One, well, hey, one dissatisfied customer who knows how to use social media, yep. who goes and puts you on ripoff report and all, and you've ignored How about it. United Airlines? Oh, oh, yeah. One video. Yeah. Yeah. One instance, mm -hmm. one mistake. That affects market cap. And now guess what happens? If you guys are following news, United has a, something bad happen to them about every 10 to 15 days. Mm -hmm. Because why? Yeah. People are watching. Focused on it. Yeah. They're focused on it. And we've been into some companies where we do a, did a needs analysis and we walked out the door and I looked at you and I said, they're on autopilot. Mm -hmm. And they don't hear the loud thundering hooves of of uh, Amazon, anybody, people that know how to use yeah. Google, those things coming. We've also walked out of some and gone, they won't make it in a year. Yeah, <laughs> and they're not. Yeah. And they're they not don't. around. They don't. They're not around anymore. So it doesn't take a lot of effort, but it takes a lot of right thinking and critical mm -hmm. thinking. So be sure if you're out there, you guys be start to plan and start to have those meetings about. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Next conference room, walk in. If you're the CEO or you're a business leader or you're a director, look at your staff and say, how would you put us out of business in two years and see what happens? That's our Clarity Clip. It's Robert and Brad. Thank we'll you. see you guys. Have a good one.